Hey, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can style bot and client side views built with lit element. Let's jump right into the code. All right. So styling bot and components is fairly straightforward. You can define styles on them by defining a static uh, field on them. So static styles is equal to a block of CSS like this. And in here, you can type your uh, styles that are particular to this component. CSS, uh, make sure that that gets imported from lit element. So let's go ahead and change some of our styles here. First thing that might be new to you is the use of the host element. So this refers to the demo view HTML element itself. So let's make this display as a block element and add some padding to it. Let's do 12 pixels of padding. Save and see how that looks. Okay, so we get some padding here. Uh, let's improve our form here a little bit. So let's wrap that first of all in a div with a class name. So let's call this form. And let's make sure we get the button in there. Save like that. Then we can add some styles to it. So form, let's display that as a grid. Let's make it 300 pixels wide. Save. All right, looks a little uh, different. So you can see how we can change things here. And one of the nice things with uh, working with web components is that all of your styles are scoped to within this component to show you what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and add a h1 tag here. Let's say hello. And do something that you probably wouldn't do in a no, kind of quote unquote normal application and write a CSS selector for just a plain h1. Let's change the color to hot pink. Let's change the font family to chalk board. I don't have Comic Sans on, on Mac, but this is close enough. And you can see that although we have another H1 here on the page, if we look at this, you can see that we have another H1 uh, here in our application, but that doesn't get affected by the styles that we define inside of our components. So the styles that you have are scoped within this component. That makes some things a lot easier to, to deal with. You can also take a look at some of the built-in theme variants that Vaadin ships with. So for instance, for the button here, we can pass in a theme attribute and say primary, for instance, to highlight this in a primary uh, color here to make it more apparent that this is something you can click on. Another thing that's really cool is that Vaadin ships with both a light and a dark variant of this uh, Lumo theme that we have. So if we go into the main index file here and on the HTML tag itself, we can add a theme attribute again and pass in dark. And you'll see that that changes the color scheme of our entire application to a dark variant. All right, so those are the basics of CSS styling in Vine client side views. In the next video, we're going to take a look at adding a new view to our application. So stick around and ask your questions below. Thanks.